Hello everybody and welcome back to a new reaction of Violet Evergarden. This is episode 8. And so last time we um, learned about grief and death, uh, letting go as well. Um, and at the end of the episode Violet learned about, thanks to the <laughs> very nice lady who abandoned her, uh, we learned that, uh, well Violet learned about uh, Major Gilbert's um, Miss in action. I'm gonna say miss in action because uh, as long as I'm not seeing a dead body, I'm not concluding that uh, the character is dead. And so he's not Violet, apparently. Um, but I'm really looking forward to see how she's gonna cope with this, uh, if she is gonna cope with this, and what maybe is she gonna do with her life? Is she gonna go maybe to try maybe to find him somewhere, or is she maybe gonna try to uh, make sense of her life and try an, an end of her own? Uh, there as an auto memory doll because yeah she's been doing all of these uh, with the hopes to understand what the major meant and with the hopes to you know be with him again but now that she knows that it might not be a possibility I'm really looking forward to um to see what she's going to do with it um besides um her emotional journey is not complete uh, so I'm not certain to see what would be next if she's gonna still have the strife to understand things or if maybe she's gonna repress emotions uh, because that could be a coping mechanism as well um, especially since she's, she's just emerged you know from the cave from the emotional cave that she was in um, and that she's exposing herself so I'm really intrigued because this has been the big thing, you know, ever since we were in episode one, it has been a big thing. What's really happened? Is he alive? Is he not alive? Is she going to learn about it? How is, is it going to go? Is it going to be before she understands emotions? Is it going to be after? Uh, and here we are. This is like a pivoting uh, moment in the series, in my opinion. And I'm really, really glad that we are getting it now as we're uh, embarking to the second half of this series. Um, so yeah, that being said, a full reaction to that episode is going to be available on the Patreon link down below in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe. In fact, that's not done yet. If you're not subscribed yet, yes, smash the like button, subscribe. That would make me so happy. The more the merrier and by the way, I've such an amazing show. Also, don't forget to uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a new video and hit the like button. That makes me so happy as well. Uh, that being said, we're going to jump right in. Let's go. Oh, coming back to uh, the flashback. Lambo, I also call not Kodomoni. Yeru, so it's a Kodomosan. So it's a bookida. Tada no Tataka Udoguda. Hmm. You know, Violet is 13, 12, maybe at the time of their meeting. And yes, she. Is of age to be a child and you would expect her you know to leave things as a child and everything but she's never known any kind of childhood ever so this is what her brother uh his brother sorry uh is saying so i see both she's going to... they know each other yeah yeah, yeah no match <laughs> yeah <laughs> あいつにとってただの道具だった貴様が悲しいはずはないだろう。さあ。やめろ。食事をさせたら客間に連れて行ってくれ。頼むよ。I <笑> ずっとぼっちゃまを探していて食事も取らずにあの少女は不安定すぎます人は辞めるだけが取り柄で連れて行ってみろ。I'm but I'm glad he is there. It's not that we finally get to see the Major fully fledged. 
flashed. Sorry, because uh, so far he's only just <laughs> been a silhouette. You know, is she literally not gonna move? <laughs> I ex can expect this from Violet. I reckon it's gonna be a shock for him. As terrible as this is, this is really beautiful. This is really beautifully done. Okay, where is she going? Hmm. Almost in the same uh, condition. Oh! Is it empty? An empty casket? <laughs> it's all sinking in, you know. Progressively, she's uh, finally circling it up. I'm really loving it. I mean, yeah, she did this as much as she uh, may have taken lies and taken loved ones from others. She's also given back a life to other people. Yeah, we want. Noted. Gonna talk about it later. And here we are. Hmm.少佐の瞳と同じ色です。いいえ、これが一番美しいでした。少佐の瞳は。I mean, she doesn't see her own eyes. She sees your eyes. So. Yeah. I think the brooch is a really beautiful uh, symbol. Oh. <laughs> oh, she says, Making her do something else, just like he said. So this is the final day, when it happens. Yeah, it's been shot. Green, obviously. Yeah, so that's why we didn't see his head. Oh. Man, if she if she finds it, you're gonna die so badly. Ah. Oh. All right, everybody, Violet Evergarden, episode eight. So I don't know, maybe that episode might be at a tie with me with episode six. Uh, that was my favorite so far. That episode was really, really great. And I'm still always baffled by the way they visually and emo aesthetically and everything uh, try to render emotions and Violet's, um, how could you say, uh, sensitivity. Because yeah, she has a sensitivity, even though she was a weapon and everything, there was a sensitivity that went along all with it. And um, funnily enough, in these episodes where we flash back and go back to that time when she, she's, with, she's with the Major, you clearly are identifying two Major uh, Gilbert. And I have to say, um, it gives me sad vibes. Major Gilbert is doing all these great things for Violet, and yet I have the feeling that he is 
himself quite displeased with uh I don't know what with but I uh, I have the feeling that this guy has a really sad aura um and that kind of pains me that makes me sad myself you know uh, but this is so beautiful and their relationship is quite beautiful although I have to say it is not totally a hundred percent sane because Violet is not really understanding what's happening and everything but this is really confusing because I love the fact that Major Gilbert is really paying attention to her I really love it, genuinely love it, and I find it so important, and I find it so, um, it touched me, it, it touches me a lot, you know, um, but I w just wanted to spring the question of becoming, because, uh, Dear Tart, th thoughts regarding Violet are that of, um, uh, his con state is is just making it's just recollecting the facts you know she's seen he's seen violet kill and everything and done nothing else so to him she's a war weapon while major gilbert is trying to see past that but doing this is also kind of clinging on to um an image of violet that is not so far it's kind of trying to make her something himself you know uh, in the show the show is definitely criticizing people for making violet uh, a weapon and saying that she was a weapon and nothing else but on the other hand major gilbert himself is trying to make her something um i told you note the the words at the moment when they are uh, at the market and he says, girls your age would want uh, accessories and jewelries and everything. Girls your age would want. So he's try as much as you know, obviously it comes from a good place and it comes from the fact that he cares for her and that he wants her to have a life of opportunity. It, it is still that he is going on a way that he is girls your age would want you know and this is quite hard really because yes violet doesn't know what she wants so how could you spring it out for her so it's a really tricky way to go to 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 deal with violet's situation um but i have to say i'm really glad of the way they're going on about it i don't know if there's a right or wrong way i just see a way and so far it really makes me happy sad happy happy sad both because violet of garden's story is a sad story um i do not believe it's a happy story maybe she's gonna have a happy ending you know but it's still gonna be a sad story um or at least full of bitterness. And I'm loving it. You know, as much as sometimes I can say um, that writing thing is not so great or that writing thing is not so great. Um, the overall show, the idea of it, the characters, the vibes of it is really great and the message of it is really nice. Um, and I'm definitely in love with it. It's not a perfect show. Not at all. But who cares? It's a beautiful one. It's uh, it's beautifully done. And uh, there is a delicacy. There is a sensitivity that really... You know, I feel if, if I ever see somebody down, I think I'd recommend, you know, watch Violet of a Garden. Because I believe that this is a movie... Uh, movie. There you go. Uh, this, this is a series that soothes your heart, you know. And your mind uh, if you're struggling I feel like there's an episode for everything and for everybody you know if you're struggling with a relative or if you're struggling with yourself with your own emotions if you're struggling with death if you're struggling with your past if you're struggling with uh, guiltiness guiltiness yeah guilt sorry um, 
I feel like there's an episode in it for you. If you're suffering from loneliness or anything, you know, there's an episode in it for you. And it's just 20 minutes, but it's 20 minutes of uh, wonderful things. Um, and yes, sad things are wonderful, terrible things are wonderful. And uh, this very episode here, as we are recollecting everything that we've learned of Violet with the past events, is hitting really hard. And it's so impactful because we've had the seventh, seven, seven other episodes. Uh, we, wouldn't have, we wouldn't have had the other seven episodes. It wouldn't have had the same impact, obviously. Um, so to me, it's maybe a tie with episode six because episode six was really up there for me. And But this episode is really up there as well because we finally get to see uh, what her journey with the Major has been. And as much as she... It is meant to say that she doesn't understand things and how things are going on and emotion and things. You see that she has an attachment to him already. So even though sometimes this is what bothers me, um, you, you, you see that she has a sensitivity and a, and a basic understandness of what he means to her and everything. And so that brings the other question of me of uh, how do you compute emotions how do you get emotions and everything but i'm i believe i'm gonna keep that extensive uh, philosophical discussion for the uh total series final review uh at the end of the 13 uh whole episodes so yes uh, just like always do not hesitate to comment i love uh having your comments on uh, especially this series because um on this one really the more the merrier because there's only so many emotions in the world and so many different points of views uh, and so many different things that you can take away uh, depending on who you are from Violet Evergarden that I'm really looking forward to having all of your thoughts, your insights. Um, um, and yes, so thank you very much for watching that episode with me. Um, full reaction, just like always, on the Patreon down below because... Um, I happen to talk quite extensively in this episode um, and the other ones, but this one, and I don't know, I never know what makes the final cut in the edited video, so um, if you feel that maybe there's something I haven't talked about, maybe it's in, in the full length reaction then. So yes, thank you very much guys for watching this with me, uh, don't forget to subscribe, notification, the notification bell and the thumbs up. I'm going to be seeing you uh, for episode 9. Until then, please have a nice life. Take care. See you soon. Bye.